In early October, Planet X researcher David Mead indicated that mid-October of this year would be the beginning of the seven-year tribulation period here on Earth, in which humanity will witness a conglomerate of natural calamities, which includes increased seismic events. Analysis of these events around the world would strongly suggest that Mead's predictions may be true. An indication of this can be found in the French Alps region, which has been rocked by more than 140 tremors in the past 40 days, or since about mid-September. Seismologists in France believe that these small earthquakes are signaling the arrival of large tremors, which will bring about devastating results in the area. According to the earthquake observation organization called SISMALP, the strongest quake which hit the area in the past month has measured 3.8 on the Richter scale. Before the onset of a mega earthquake, small shakes would happen, and experts believe that the same thing is happening in the Alps region in France. Local residents in the French Alps are very troubled by these recent developments, as they witness continuous shakes every day. Many believe that these tremors are signaling the arrival of Planet X. Since the time when NASA announced that a massive planet was lurking in the outer solar system, many have come to accept that the arrival of Planet X is destabilizing the tectonic plates under the surface of the Earth, and it is the reason behind the increased number of tremors. It is also understood that the arrival of Nibiru has increased the volcanic activities on the Earth. Recently, Mount Agung and Mount Sinabong in Indonesia showed the signals of a possible eruption, and some observers were quick to say that these volcanic activities signal the arrival of the lone planet, known as the comet planet, lurking on the edge of our solar system. Even though NASA is denying the existence of Planet X, the number of natural disasters is increasing, for which NASA has no explanation. Not long ago, the U.S. was devastated by Hurricane Irma and Harvey, followed by the devastating Mexican earthquakes. Shortly thereafter, Hurricane Maria annihilated the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico a disaster of apocalyptic proportions in which most of the island remains without power more than a month after the storm. Now with the increased seismic activity in France, especially the Alps region, the issue of a celestial presence is gaining more attention by the day. Here is something interesting that refutes NASA's claim that Planet X does not exist which also substantiates our claim that NASA has known about Nibiru since at least 1983. There is a book which exists that you may be able to find in your public library. It is called the New Science and Invention Encyclopedia, the 1987-1989 to 1989 limited edition, volume 18. In a section on space probes, the encyclopedia shows the path of the two pioneer probes as they triangulate on the gravitational effects. It shows the Earth, the Sun, and a dead star at 50 billion miles, or 538 astronomical units, and a tenth planet at 4.7 billion miles, or 50 astronomical units. This book speaks volumes as it corroborates what we have been saying all along, that there is a binary sun called Nemesis and a tenth planet known as Nibiru, which are in a retrograde orbit around our own sun, which are adversely affecting the planets of our solar system, including the Earth. We are now on the verge of something big happening as the Earth changes are becoming more and more strange and extreme. 
On November 1st, a seismic swarm of large earthquakes hit New Caledonia. Within a time frame of five hours, a magnitude 6.1, 6.6, and 6.0 struck east of Tadine, as shown here. New Caledonia is currently experiencing enhanced seismic activity. After the magnitude 6.8 earthquake on Halloween, a swarm of strong and shallow quakes is rumbling the same area in which the earthquakes occurred at a depth of 6.2 miles, which triggered small tsunami waves. A sandstorm of biblical proportions engulfed much of the Middle East on October 29th. The apocalyptic weather phenomena was accompanied by extreme winds which damaged structures in camps situated in Iraq, as seen here. In Cordoba, Argentina, a massive storm dropped nearly five feet of hail within 15 minutes on these unsuspecting travelers on October 26th. At the same time, in the city of La Cruz, three inches of rain fell within 15 minutes, producing rivers of hail in the streets, as seen here. The most complex situations were created by the bizarre hail accumulation on the thoroughfares, where cars were swimming in a sea of ice stones in what was another anomalous and freak storm. This event came just a day after giant hailstones hit the municipality of Formosa in northern Argentina, damaging thousands of buildings, trees, and cars along the Paraguay River. On October 12th, the Sakansi Forest Lake in Russia suddenly disappeared in an overnight phenomenon. The 20-meter deep reservoir and all of its fish and other aquatic wildlife were swallowed up within hours by a giant crater. Yet another impressive geological phenomenon occurring around the world. Wildfires have been raging out of control across vast regions of forests in many places across the world. Firefighters have been battling dangerous wildfires in the Piedmont and Lombardy districts of northern Italy for the last month. Many acres have been consumed by the fires that are aggravated by strong and very dry winds where many have been forced to evacuate from their homes and where a state of emergency has been implemented. These areas have been hit by an abnormally dry summer and unusual winds that have helped to fuel these fires.
At the same time, these revealing lenticular clouds formed in the province of Varese, Italy, on October 29th, creating this spectacle of grandeur. This strange sky phenomenon occurred on October 24th in Feliciano, Argentina. The anomaly, which resembles a light column, is reminiscent of a glowing portal to heaven. Meteorologists seem to be mystified by this strange appearance, suggesting that it may have been caused by two fronts, one cold and one warm, clashing with one another but even this explanation seems a bit strange. There are significant fears that the Mount Haiti volcano in the Canary Islands is about to explode. There has been a swarm of 22 earthquakes that have rocked this area from October 28th through the 31st. The Volcanology Institute of the Canary Islands has been trying to calm people. The last major eruption of Tahiti was in 1909. The Canary Island of La Palma experienced more than 300 mini-earthquakes just last month. This simulation is showing that if a landslide were to occur at the site of the La Palma volcano, the mega-tsunami that it would create would hit the United States east coast within eight hours. Such an event is something scientists have long feared may happen. The west side of the volcano would blow off into the Atlantic Ocean, sending a tsunami into the east coast of the United States seven to eight hours later with 90 to 160 foot waves slamming up to 12 miles inland. Quite a few of the channel subscribers and Facebook followers here at Skywatch Media have shared videos and images that appear to be showing the presence of an extra celestial body or a second smaller sun in our solar system. Some of these observations are questionable since they require substantial photo analysis and in many times it turns out that what was captured was a sun dog anomaly or a reflection off of a distant cloud or as we see here a large second sun captured through a pane glass window which turns out to be nothing more than a reflection of our own sun. Others are outright fabrications that are created through computer software as in the case of this image where they forgot to place a second reflection in the water. Many of these are images that can be easily uh, mistaken for the real thing, but which are otherwise less than convincing. However, there are some imagery that meets the test of authenticity, that is neither computer generated or that is appearing as a reflection or flare caused by the camera lens. And it is these pictures, such as this one, that are the most interesting examples of what we call the second sun, or in some instance the presence of an exoplanet, which does not belong to the known planets in our solar system. When further analysis is completed on this type of image through the use of uh, gamma testing and other more sophisticated software programs, then it becomes quite a bit easier to determine the authenticity of an object of interest. I realize there are some people who will not accept the theory or the belief that there is a presence out there, unless or until they see it with their own eyes. That is the ultimate proof and everything else is just conjecture. With that being said, 
let's now look at a few captures that were observed most recently by some of you. This photo was taken prior to sunset on October 12th, north of the Oakland Hill during the California wildfires. The object to the center right of the sun is not the moon or Venus, but is appearing as a fairly bright object at a distance from the sun. This video capture from a news channel out of Northern California, taken during the wildfires in the wine country, is showing what looks to be a large red orb coming into view to the center left of the sun. Take a look. Here is a closer look with the frame frozen when the object comes into view. And here it is one more time with the cursor pointing to the object of interest. On October 24th, this planetary body was captured from the south-southwest shortly after midday. The enhanced and enlarged frames of this image are quite interesting. Again, this is not the Moon or Venus in these still shots. One of our most avid sky watchers has taken more than 20,000 photos of the sun in the last 11 months. This photographer has indicated that the orbital bodies captured here are becoming more pronounced and are appearing much larger than images that were taken during the Great American Eclipse this past August. Here is something to consider. These images, like many others, are but a blueprint for what can be seen and what can be imagined. They offer a glimpse into space and time. What the eye can see through the lens of the camera is not always what we see in real time. And yet there are moments when the lens unveils mysteries that the human eye cannot see or comprehend. And maybe that is what we are experiencing with the heavenly images that are being seen today. As you continue in your journey for truth and understanding,